guides and layouts. Now, guides are extra lines that allow you to align things or lay out things more easily. Now, we already have guides. These lines are all guides. There are column guides at the end of the day. But in design, it's not an absolute program, i.e. the text and graphics do not have to follow the guides. They can go over the top of them if they so wish. But sometimes you need more guides to help you. For example, where's the center of this page? So that's what we're going to look at. If you can't see the rulers, make sure you go to View and select Show Rulers. With the rulers showing, if you move your mouse onto the top one, for example, see my mouse is black, so I've got the black selection tool selected. I move my mouse onto the top and it turns white. Now I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and drag downwards until it snaps to the middle of my page. That's the center point of my page. Now I can do the same again on the left hand side to get the center point both vertically and horizontally so I know there's the center point of my page. I could also add more guidelines in willy nilly to say divide it up into quarters. Now this isn't exactly quarters, this is just done on the eye. If we knew the exact value we wanted these guidelines to go to, make sure you have one of them selected. If you look up the top here, it gives you the Y and X value depending on whether it's vertical or horizontal. So you could put a figurative value in here, say for example, 72 millimeters. And let's see the guideline moves to that corresponding space. Now, once we set up our document, remember we talked about we can change things. So we could go back into layout and go to margins and columns and adjust. So if we change this now, so if we do say two columns, if the preview is turned on, you can see behind it's actually changing. And I'll do OK. Now if we go to our pages palette and double click on page two, three, you can see they have not changed. So it only changed on the page we had currently selected. So you can have different layouts per page. So every page can be individual. So if we do it on page two, three, and I'm making sure I only have page A selected, sorry, page two selected, i.e. we can select both pages by clicking the number. We click off it's got nothing selected and then I can select just page two. Okay. So then if I go to now margins and columns again and change it to just one this time, get rid of them all and do OK. See, it's only done it to this page, not that page. And page one is still two. So you can drag guides in. Guides only have show on the page you've applied them to. And if we change our layout, it will only change on the page that is currently selected. Now there is something called master pages that we'll go on to later, which will affect all the pages within the document. But for now, that's guides and layouts.